Hello, welcome back to the Cloth Diaper Podcast where today we are doing another unbagging and today I ordered something from Nikki's Diapers and I'm actually impressed on how quick it arrived. I'm Canadian, Nikki's is in the States and the order that I wanted to do was gonna cost me like $50 US to ship. But that's because I had put all the pre-folds in there. Instead, I've decided on a much smaller order of a few products that I was generally curious about and I know that you're curious about. These are things, two things that are gonna work great in my life. One that I know that you guys wanna know and I wanna provide another opinion on it. And uh, I think I'm gonna add something else. So this ended up costing 15 US dollars to ship, so $20 Canadian. Uh, I didn't get hit with duties or taxes, it's over $80, so that's pretty much a Christmas miracle. And I ordered it last week and it's Wednesday and it arrived. So that's actually really fast and I'm super impressed because I'm still waiting. I actually kind of thought this was one of my Chinese orders that I did back in November that hasn't arrived yet. So I ordered the new Nikki's Overnight Trainers and I ordered one in a medium for Miss Anna and I ordered one in the extra large for Walter. I was reading online, I saw that they sold the overnight insert separate, so I assumed that meant that these didn't come with them, but these do come with them. So now I feel a little bit like a goof. So I do have the regular Nikki's training pants. And this, I have one in a medium. It didn't really fit Walter, but it fits Anna really well. I'm not overly impressed with the design. It just, it feels more diapery and kind of cheap than some of my other brands that I have. So I was curious about the overnight just because this is somewhere that I can see us continuing to use a diaper. As well as trying to find an overnight diaper option is really hard like sometimes you want it to pull on because that really is kind of where your kids at right they're like I want to wear undies but they're still wetting the bed and so this is what I thought would be a great little compromise the other thing that I really like about this and looking at it now is that it could also be a great daytime trainer for those of you who have kids who still poop their pants and want to pull on underwear because it has these front snaps. I find that Nikki's products, they aren't generously sized. They're pretty true to size. It's not like some of the trainers out there do fit a little bit bigger. Huh. I'm kind of curious about why this is like polar fleece. Does that not? Like I guess maybe it's soft against the skin. Seems like a good way to have leakage. All right. Oh, okay, so so inside is like a half pocket. I don't know how to explain this to you. That's how it looks. So it looks like a padded pocket micro fleece liner. Honestly, not sold on the micro fleece liner just because when I'm potty training, I really do want my kid to know when they're feeling wet. And then it just opens from the side and here you see the one layer of microfiber and four layers of bamboo. Interesting. And then you are given a simple square double loop fine terry insert. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these extra bamboo terries. I can tell that I'm not going to really love this. It feels really fine quality. I don't think it's going to be very absorbent. It's not as nice as like my nuggles. I might stick just like a two ply nuggles in there instead. This you can tuck. Looks like you could tuck it in here. Oh yeah, so you can just tuck it in there. You are gonna have bulk, so it does look like it's coming together pretty bulky. Like a daytime trainer, always gonna be quite thin, but I think it's gonna be about the same bulk of the Omaki. If we see, like this is the Omaki shape. The Omaki is available up to a size 12 Y, but very similar. This is definitely a more petite shape. I might be more inclined to like this shape. See, Omaki, if you're watching this, could use a few tweaks, especially around the thigh. All right, so I also ordered that in the extra large, and this is supposed to fit kids up to 45 pounds. Hmm, 
I'm skeptic. I feel like my toddler is bigger than this, but he is a big kid. And then I'm, I'm curious about baby kicks. So this is the Does It All. They have a whole bunch of products, but I wasn't really wanting to buy a ton. So I thought I'd start here, see how this goes. Plus Baby Kicks is not available in Canada right now. It's kind of a weird shape. Mommy. I would actually like cord fold this. Mommy. Mommy. The last thing I ordered is only because it happened to still be in stock two days later. And I thought, okay, if it's still in stock, I'll buy it. I didn't want to play the Fast Fingers game. I don't play Fast Fingers games. Because the Lighthouse Kids Supreme was in stock, I bought one. But you guys are all really curious about this product. I'm really curious about this product. I know that this is the first version and if we look at other companies that have tried to make a heavy wetter overnight solution, we know that they go through multiple stages. So. Grovia One, there was the Kickstarter, and then there's been little tweaks to it over the years. Smart Bottom Stream Diaper, there was a version one and then a version two. I don't believe that this is the final product. This was $26.99, I believe. She said that was gonna be the introductory pricing. They did a ridiculous video where, you know what my problem with that video was? <laughs> is that people then took that video for truth and they didn't take any of the laughter and the joking and they went around the internet and they said, oh, the Lighthouse Kids is claiming it holds 30 plus ounces, even though if you watch the video, like, no, like when it's leaking at that point, it's a problem. I'm beginning to hear it holds about 24 ounces, which is, which is okay. I, hmm, I think most of the absorbency that they're claiming is completely in that booster. I think that the diaper is gonna be closer to the one size diaper in that it holds maybe 10 ounces and the booster is gonna hold about 15. We see other comparable size three ply inserts on the market hold 12 to 15 ounces because it's a little bit smaller and it's four ply, I do think it's gonna fall within the 12 to 15 ounce range. Again, total speculation. So I don't think they're far off on their numbers, just that the majority of the absorbency in, is gonna be in their boosters. Any um, and the pictures Mommy. that I have seen, Mom. hi Anna. The pictures I have seen of this on the bum are quite bulky and big. Snaps are weirdly located. Look at that guys. Does that look weird to you? It looks weird to me. This one snap looks awfully centered. So it's a one, two, three, four rise settings. This is a bigger size diaper, so this isn't a one size option. Now we're looking at like Lighthouse Kids. I would almost call them a diaper company that has like size diapers. This is like a size diaper. This is a size two and then their other one. And then this is the size one. So this is the uh, original Lighthouse Kids diaper. This I did receive from a, com from a retailer for a brand review. So this is the original and then this. I find that their original fits quite small. I did do a review on this and I'll link it down below. At the end of the day, I just stopped using this diaper because it does feel like it fits smaller and I wasn't overly impressed with the absorbency. The one thing that I really do like about Lighthouse Kids is that they use athletic wicking jersey. I'm a huge fan of athletic wicking jersey. So we're gonna open up this diaper. Wow. Okay, so it comes with an insert. This is four layers each. But it doesn't say four layers of what? See, this is what bugs me is that they're calling this a heavy duty eight layer nighttime insert. It's a four layer insert and you just happen to call it folded in half. Like apple cheeks and nuggles who make two and three layer inserts, they don't call them six layer inserts. It's just a two layer insert. This is a four layer insert. Don't call it an eight layer insert. Okay, so according to Nikki's Diapers Online, it's saying that it's a four layer bamboo. There's a lot of different ways that they make bamboo. So this is a terry that we saw here. And this is just like, um, I'm curious on whether or not it has a blend. It's not typical to see this type of material as 100% bamboo. This type of weave is very, whereas if you make it in a terry, it's not. So we'll see how that washes up. It's quite thick right now. I hope it doesn't add any bulk. Um, keep in mind, like this is a diaper for 20 plus pounds. So 
It's just like a regular Lighthouse Kids, but made bigger. So it has their unique book fold design, which is kind of a cool concept. It's one, two layers, two layers that you fold. So you get four layers of absorbency and you can choose to fold it either way so that you either get a stay dry layer or a knot. I do think that this kind of concept is pretty inventive and pretty unique on the market, but four layers of whatever this is, I'm not actually sure what that is either, is not very absorbent on its own. I have a feeling that I might end up using this diaper like comboed like this with a hemp that's thinner just because I found that I'm finding that this is very bulky. And truthfully, I could have used without the layer of fleece on here because that adds that just that extra bulk that you don't necessarily need because you can just layer it you could just have layered this insert into the diaper in a way that gives you the stay dry impact. So I would probably just fold it and then tuck it inside so that you still got stay dry. And then if you remove this stay dry, you could have cut down the bulk, like one whole, two whole layers really. So curious, you know what? This actually looks a lot more impressive. I am skeptical about 26 ounces. I will do an absorbency test on this and then we'll figure out how to do the all-in-one. The reason I haven't dived into all-in-one testing yet is because I'm not really sure how to do it and give you an accurate result. I don't want to get the PUL wet because I think that that would skew the numbers. So I've been debating and playing around with different methods. I will use my scale. I'll figure out a way to use my scale. I've been chatting with Anna from Nerdy Mamas and we've been playing around with maybe some ideas that would give us some real life scenarios without getting the pee well wet. I do find, yeah. And it's just a matter of triple testing to see if you're getting that result all the time to kind of ensure your accuracy. This does feel like um, prepped bamboo as well as this, so it's not gonna need a lot of washing. I just did cloth diaper laundry yesterday, so I'm gonna go toss this all downstairs with my regular clothes, and we will see how it preps up. Thank you for joining. Let me know what type of questions you have about this product or any of these other products. I'm actually really, this is something that I'm looking forward to using in my day-to-day -day life because girl knows they wanna wear underwear to bed, but they're not potty trained. They're just not. Okay, till next time, bye. Alright, alright, so I've just been thinking. So the Supreme is completely sold out everywhere, I believe, and it will be restocking, I believe, and probably at a higher price. So they said that that $26.99 is the introductory price, and that's $26.99 US dollars. It's $22.99 is what the original one costs. <laughs> so Lighthouse Kids, if you're watching this, I would really like to see the Supreme sold without the insert. I think it would make, like my first impression of it today is that it would make a really good bigger diaper, a really good size two diaper, but not everybody needs that extra absorbency. So why not just have a size one and a size two diaper without that additional absorbency? If we look at the cost, the $26.99, basically it looks like that's what the cost of the diaper would be and you're just getting a insert for free otherwise they have a totally weird pricing structure so that is kind of a crazy introductory price like if you consider that the one size option currently on the market is $22.99 it's four dollars more for a bigger diaper with an additional insert either this is a really cheaply made diaper uh, with a huge profit margin <laughs> or um, there's a, like a pricing discrepancy there. Love to see the Supreme come out at a lower price point, so $26.99 or somewhere around there, but without that insert and buy the insert separately if you need it for your child, right? Because I think this would be a great diaper like day to day for a bigger kid, but I don't need that absorbency. So why would I want to pay for it? That is my thought that I just wanted to tack on to the end of the video here.